how to think like a troll. So the video title is kind of crazy. I, uh, I stumbled upon it when I was trying to figure out exactly what kind of video I was going to make for you guys. Um, you know, developing the TED Talk kind of video, figuring out what it was, how I was going to format everything. Um, and that was the video I stumbled upon, which was kind of crazy. But uh, the video actually sh surprisingly showed uh, some strong points pointing to the topic that we're talking about now, which is, you know, how powerful disinformation can be when you're getting that out to the masses. Um, you know, how to convince people using held beliefs that most people have and twisting and turning that into um, fitting your, 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 your agenda. And then uh, also kind of figuring out what kind of content to put out there to, uh, you know, to get whatever it is that you're trying to get out of people with the disinformation that you're spreading. So, I mean, obviously this is kind of the negative side of, of marketing, right? The things that we're kind of trying to focus on now. Um, I just found it kind of funny that doing research, figuring out a TED Talk uh, format, this is what I stumbled upon that was a little bit related, just kind of on the other side of the coin. Um, but hi, my name is Sergeant, uh, or I'm sorry, George Yardley. Sorry, I usually do these videos uh, on a professional manner with, uh, with the Air Force. But yeah, my name is George Yardley. Um, I'm gonna be going over the marketing strategies used to create customer value showing you guys how the application, um, how I would apply this to Chick-fil-A specifically, just because I felt like they had a good business model and their business model fits into it. A lot of the things that we're looking at, especially in this week and then throughout the course, um, going over my own personal experiences with creating and communicating customer value in my own profession as an Air Force recruiter, and then kind of wrapping things up from there. Um, so marketing strategies to create customer value and communication. Uh, after kind of going through everything this week, I thought that the promotion mix uh, was, uh, was definitely one of the stronger points um, to help creating that customer value, showing the customer value, and then creating a strong relationship. Companies will do that, obviously, with advertising. So broadcast, print, online, outdoor type of advertisements, um, sales promotions, discounts, coupons, displays, things like that. Um, how are we going to get people to buy our product? Uh, what is going to be the most t enticing thing that we can put on an advertisement? Things like that. And then just demonstrations and stuff. Um, personal selling, so personal engagement with the customer, something that I um, I have been strengthening for the last few years, just in my own profession, but it definitely does, um, you know, create that customer value um, and relationship because you can't really sell something without first uh, building some sort of rapport or showing how whatever it is that you're selling is going to fix a problem, need, or want with the customer, at least in my personal opinion. Um, I was at the, uh, what we call the base exchange on one of the Air Force bases I'm stationed at, and there was a cut code demonstration going on with the personal selling that we keep talking about and going over. Um, but yeah, I mean, I walked up to it. It had a lot of different, uh, different options on the table, really cool knives. They even had a demonstration where they showed me a, a knife that wasn't cut co, a knife that was cut co, and then they had me cut something that was on the table. The difference was crazy. Um, so, I mean, the type of demonstrations that they'll do uh, in conjunction with sales promotions, I think is really strong for really any company. Um, and then you got public relations, right? So kind of building a good, a good branding image, putting out positive information about events that you might be having or just positive overall information about your, uh, about your company. And then of course, with public relations, we're looking at, you know, kind of squashing bad rumors that might be said about the company on social media platforms or, or, or elsewhere. Then we have direct and digital marketing, right? So these are the areas where you're trying to obtain some sort of immediate response, uh, you know, from the from the consumer, from the customer. And then, um, you know, in Chick-fil-A, like I said, kind of going back to making a strong comparison, they have a great, a great television advertising campaign that they put out with how the employee has fixed the customer's issue and they put that on the front they'll bring an employee put them in front of the camera bring the person um that they had an issue or whatever and the employee from chick-fil-a fixed it and they just kind of talk it out and it's uh it kind of tugs on the hot heartstrings sometimes sometimes it can be a little funny with the story um but usually it's a, a very personal issue and and they've uh found these stories and, and highlighted that through television uh, advertisements, which I thought was pretty smart and, and it, and it engages you. I feel like as you're watching the commercial, 
this is something real and it's something that they've figured out. And, uh, and I feel like it's a, been a very big positive for that company specifically. Um, you know, and then of course they're av outdoor advertising, right? So they have, uh, you know, their restaurants all over the place. They're in baseball stadiums, football stadiums, and then they got the big billboard with a cow on it. So I think that's pretty funny when you see Chick-fil-A and then a cow and it's like, well, what's going on up there? Um, you know, it, it's just uh, smart, smart marketing, smart advertising. It just makes you look at it. You, you see Chick-fil-A, think chicken, you see a cow and you're like, what's going on here? And they have like little funny billboards and stuff like that. Um, and then with the sales promotions, right, with Chick-fil-A as the um, example that I'm using here, some you can go get your stuff, they give you the receipt, and then you got a um, a receipt that basically shows uh, the, uh, the survey. So you go to the website, fill out the survey, and then you get a free chicken sandwich. So that's just one of their different ways that they have sales promotions. Um, and then with the personal selling piece, at least with the, the application to Chick-fil-A here, um, not a whole lot. I don't feel like when you go to Chick-fil-A and try to buy something, they try to upsell you. Usually sometimes they'll say, hey, would you like to make it a large or add a dessert or whatever, but um, not a ton of personal selling there. Uh, but from time to time, it, it, it does and can happen. So personal experiences with this area. Um, as an Air Force recruiter, it is my job to put people in the Air Force, figure out the needs, wants, and, uh, and, and things like that from the customer and try to match what the Air Force specifically has and can we fix that need or want that the customer is bringing to the table. Does this make sense for them? And if so, it's my job to show and highlight you have this problem, Air Force can fix it. And this is, is specifically the program we have or how we can fix it specifically. Um, you know, offering and showing personal and professional growth to uh, most of the applicants. I mean, I feel like that's something that can be applied to just about everybody. And that's something that I hit on personally. Um, you know, informative office space signs and pamphlets, just making sure that the information is out there for everybody to see either at the storefront or inside with the pamphlets just kind of spread out through uh, through the office itself. Then social media engagement. Obviously, this is huge, something we've been covering for the last eight weeks up to this point. Um, it's, it's all about new content. It's all got to be new. It's got to be fresh. It's got to be different. It's got to connect and uh and you have to be creative with the content that you're putting on your social media platforms for your business because if not people are just going to scroll right past it and not engage and it's all about engagement it's all about likes and comments and sharing and all this other stuff um to uh, you know to get people talking about your business and and um you know and it's 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 huge uh, social media is, is just absolutely crazy when it comes to uh digital marketing it's one of the uh, and it's cheap it's free in most cases too so um, and then, you know, also staying engaged to squash rumors, like I talked about, uh, like I talked about before. I mean, I feel like almost every business has some sort of thing that people talk about, want to squash it. Um, you know, getting onto these these areas, social media, into into the news, putting out stories. It's just one of your best ways to get that get the the rumor mill squashed. Um, and then designing a message. So with the Air Force, aim high is kind of the the uh, the message or the like slogan, if you will, from the Air Force's standpoint, we can kind of tie that um, into each customer's needs, you know, just by do you want to go to college, do you want to do this, do you want to do that, do you want to improve yourself professionally and personally, well, like the aim high, that's kind of the images that they, they, they've used. And that's how, um, you know, we take that message and try to tie it into becoming a better person just overall. So in conclusion, uh, I went over a lot of the different ways that, that we can create customer value and increase that customer communication um, by applying a lot of these different things um, that we've been learning over the course of, uh, of the course uh, of the class and um, to how to, to make your business stronger, better, more information, getting involved in social media and things like that. Um, marketing strategies are huge. You have to be fresh and, and you gotta, you gotta be able to put the stuff out there that makes sense and connect with the people that you want coming in your storefront or buying things online or, or getting involved with your service, whatever that may be. Um, I, I feel that the application to Chick-fil-A makes a lot of sense here with a lot of the things that we're covering. And then of course I was able to, um, show you guys exactly as an Air Force recruiter, how these things would apply, um, in, in real life and in real time. So I appreciate the time. Thanks and good luck with everybody with the rest of the course. Appreciate it.